honey, it's been around a long time. Archaeologists recently discovered the world's oldest honeys in tombs near the Turkish-Georgian border. In this same region, honey in Turkey is still a big deal. But here, as in many places, fake honey is also becoming more prevalent. Due to a lack of transparency and monitoring, honey is the center of one of the world's most widespread food scandals. With bee populations declining and the demand for honey rising, beekeepers set out every year to find the most pristine and florally diverse land for their hives. Eastern Anatolia is that place. Its wild geography and staggering biodiversity draw parades of beehive trucks across Turkey to tap the regional explosion of flora. The result is some of the best honey in the world. Not everyone migrates here for honey, though. Some live in eastern Anatolia year-round. Locals here are hardy people who break bread in the ground, who burn manure to fuel their homes, who know the medicinal properties of hundreds of plants that grow wild on the steppes. They are strong people, but they struggle from a lack of economic opportunities. In particular, women, the pillars of local village life, tradition, and culture, are often bound to their homes and unable to join local economies. Resources flow into the region every year to support these women in the form of loans and assistance, but because of obstacles such as a lack of literacy, transportation, market channels, and continued support, most of these programs fail. The fact is, there are limited opportunities for women to earn discretionary income without leaving the village. Enter Balulu. Balulu is a woman-led, family-run food company based out of rural Anatolia. We wanted to sustainably connect the underemployed rural women's population with the growing demand for honest and delicious honey. We began by designing honey tasting trips that support local producers and introduce travelers to the legendary honey and food traditions of the region. Now in 2013, with the help of grassroots support from across the globe, we have been able to start what we set out to do, to work directly with village-based women who have never before kept bees and have an elementary education to produce world-class honey. Balulu provides all of the supplies, training, and support, and we bring those supplies right into the homes of women we partner with. The women keep 50% of what they produce to sell, consumer trade, and we buy the remaining 50% at market price and sell it to consumers to sustain our program. We've started small, working with one village, five women, and 30 hives. But by 2018, we aspire to work in 68 villages with 530 women and over 5,300 hives across the region. We continue to lead a limited number of honey tasting treks to reward intrepid food travelers looking for the unique flavors of the region and for locals to see how their food can connect them to the world. By partnering with women to become in-village rural entrepreneurs, by leading honey tasting trips that build transparent food systems, and by challenging existing development models to work with women producers, Balulu is building something different, something powerful, and something very, very sweet. If you care about nutritious ethical food products, if you care about supporting a new kind of social business, if you care about good honey, then we want to hear from you. This August, for the first time, Balulu is selling the honey made by the women in our program, and we're taking pre-orders. We've teamed up with a local Cars and Honey cheese shop, Carzac, to sell and ship honey across Turkey to your doorstep. To be part of this special first harvest or for more ways you can get involved, visit our website and help us build the honey road, where food isn't something you buy, it's something you live.